Here we are again. Uh, two of these in one day. I've uh, got another question uh, where I can't just reply. So uh, this user is going to get a video reply. And you know, within reason, this might be an interesting experiment to, uh, to try this sort of ask me anything, whether it's photographic, other things. Um, if you want to ask me other questions, I'll try to do it in this short form video uh, kind of format uh, within reason. I'm just one guy. But anyway, uh, I have another question and the, uh, the viewer left the question on my loading and shooting instant film in a Hasselblad uh, video. And the question is, uh, Mike, excuse me if you've answered this before, but can you get shallow depth of field on Hasselblad's medium formats? Thank you in advance. Just followed. Thanks for the subscription. Um, the answer to that question is yes. Yes, you can get shallow depth of field. Easily get shallow depth of field. It's not really a property of camera brands. It's really a property of format. Um, and it goes for digital as well, um, this idea of being able to get shallow depth of field. The reason is because, uh, as simply as I can put it, if you have bigger film, you have longer lenses uh, for the same angle of view. So let's just say you're just going to shoot normal angle of view, like what everybody thinks of as normal on 35 millimeter is, let's say, 50 millimeter for the sake of argument. Um, so, but on medium format, uh, like on a Hasselblad, the sort of normal focal length on that is 80 millimeters. So you've got a longer lens. At the same f-stops, a longer lens is going to give you shallower depth of field. Um, but my theory is you get so much detail in medium format that when something's out of focus, it has a much larger impact. So um, on top of being able to fairly easily get shallow depth of field, you also uh, get this transition from super detailed to very creamy out of focus. That's not a super concise way of saying it, but basically it comes down to large format, longer lens, shorter depth of field, all else being equal. Um, and smaller format, shorter lens, more depth of field, all else being equal. That's why, for example, if you use a compact digital camera, it's very difficult to get shallow depth of field because you're shooting usually a really short lens, like a 15 or 20 millimeter lens. So uh, there you have it. Yes, you can get shallow depth of field in a Hasselblad. Uh, I specifically have been shooting focal plane bodies for the last couple of years and uh, the lenses for those bodies actually have larger maximum aperture than the um, 500 series. So right now, the camera I waved around the other day um, for the video on uh, unloading the back, uh, that was a 201F, and I often shoot a 110 millimeter F2 on that. So that gives you such shallow depth of field that you almost have to be careful with it. Um, I've got some portraits that I shot of some friends of mine that were on that roll of film. Uh, I'll post the links down below in the description, and you can look at them on Flickr and see just how shallow that depth of field is on those. So I uh, hope that answers your question, and thanks for asking, and I'll catch you later.